Hi there, my name is Alda and I'm here at Trotec and today we are going to be engraving some marble coasters on the Speedy 400. The first step is to take your coasters and cover them in masking tape. Once your coasters are covered in masking tape, you want to find and mark the center of each coaster. A trick to doing this is to mark a right angle on a piece of paper and draw a line down 45 degrees, so right down the middle of your right angle. You take your coaster and you line it up to the two edges and then using a pencil you mark the 45 degree line on one side and then on the other side. You then take your coaster, turn it approximately 90 degrees, again line it up to the two sides and mark the 45 on one side and on the other side. Once you've done that, you take a straight edge and you draw a line connecting the two marks that you've made that are directly opposite each other. So there's one, go to the other side, mark one. And there's another one. So there's your center. And you wanna do that with all your coasters. So these are the images that we're gonna be etching into our coasters today. And I'm gonna show you a technique so that you can position your coasters anywhere on the laser cutting bed without having to line it up perfectly and it'll save you quite a bit of time for your setup. So what you want to do is you want to take your laser and position it over one of the center marks of your first coaster. So there we go. Over here in job control, you want to take your first image, snap it to center. And there you're going to go up here and add a marker to job position. It will now remember the positioning of this particular uh, engraving that you want to do for the first coaster. Back to my coasters, I can now move my laser again, position it in the center of my second coaster. Over in job control, I take my second image, snap to center, and again, add a marker to this. The helpful thing about this is that if I were to move, lose the positioning of my image, I know exactly where to go back. It snaps back to this, which aligns to the positioning of my second coaster. Once your coasters are done engraving, you want to take away the dust, the marble dust that has accumulated right in the lines of your, um, of your design. So you can use a clean brush and just take away, being careful not to pull off the paper itself. Um, at this point you can decide to, if you want to just leave it etched, you can take the paper off. If you want to go on to the next step, which is to add color to this design, then you want to make sure that the paper stays on. Uh, now that you've dusted off the image, images uh, from your coasters and ma made sure that there's no marble dust in the image lines of them themselves, uh, you want to take them somewhere ventilated uh, so you can spray paint and add some color to your design. Here we have our spaceman and we're going to give it a quick once over just on the image itself. Here's our finished result after laser cutting and spray painting them in. Thanks for watching our video. Leave us any questions that you may have below and don't forget to subscribe.